Welcome back, gamers! I hope all you beautiful gamers are doing well out there. Um, I just had some KFC, so I'm actually doing great. And I got some extra crispy fried chicken, some coleslaw, some mashed potatoes, and some gravy because my sister was craving it, but we take those free fried chickies, am I right? Alright, um, let's move on to episode 6 of our Back to Maple series. So the first thing I want to tell you guys is that I finally kept my end of the promise. I gave Haku back his weapon, his upguard weapon that I borrowed from him. Um, and I finally got my Kray, my Seavel weapon for my Kana. I was actually doing Helix here, but I remembered that I got enough tokens, so I redeemed from a weapon. Um, and on day 30, I didn't do much. It was a bunch of dailies. We watched some videos, some eyebrow stamping makeup <laughs> videos uh, we watch a lot of silly things if you guys want to tag along i recommend some videos to watch or some music to listen to feel free to s swing by my streams um i did update my streaming schedule so the way i'm gonna do this now is that every week on friday i will publish a streaming schedule on both my discord and my twitter so if you guys aren't following me uh please follow me on twitch um they have a schedule on the profile that you guys can check weekly or i'll leave a link to my discord as well feel free to join it for my stream announcements as well as follow my twitter at soaring poop because i do announce my new schedules on there as well the reason I'm doing this is because since I work at Kung Fu Tea, um, I have to work on different days and it's kind of hard for me to stick to the schedule that I already had because by the time I get home from work, it's already like 8.30 and I'm supposed to start my streams at 8 and I, won't, I, I didn't want to be late every day for like the rest of my life, you know? Um, so there's that make sure to check everything out um and be updated on day 31 stream um i managed to get my blaster to 140. it's one of those legion characters that you want um i finally got that done i actually had my blaster since blasters came out i just never managed to train it because it got kind of boring for me but make sure you guys get that done if you want the extra legion bonus um we also watched some mmvs i don't know if any of you guys used to watch any of those maple music videos i guess it's people around my age would probably know what i'm talking about um Tell me in the comments below if you guys used to watch any MMVs and if you guys know of Oh My God Pocky or like any of the other signature people like Asian Bubblegum. Oh my god. I loved watching them and their little short series. Um, oh yeah, and we also watched Turtle Bear Origins. It's one of those series that I just talked about that actually has a very interesting storyline. I don't know if an anyone else really enjoyed it as much as I did, but you know, Maple Combat, Turtle Bear Origins, those were like my favorite. And oh, and Love and War. Um, that's like one of the Maple series that are voice acted. If you guys haven't seen it and you're interested, you could check it out if you really want to. Um, all right, let's move on with uh, our progress. So that was the end of day 31. On our next day, 33, I actually didn't do my dailies on that day. I was so busy editing our previous 
Maple Story episode.、Um, I didn't get the chance to really play Maple Story, or I guess I didn't feel like playing Maple Story. You know, you sometimes just have those kind of days where you absolutely dread dailies, and you would rather do something else.、Um, but yeah, I, I took the whole day just to edit、um, episode five. These. Clips actually take a long time to go through and record. So if you guys are enjoying the series, please give this video a like and give my channel a subscribe if you are enjoying it. And if you're not, I'm sorry. I'm not keeping you guys entertained.、Uh, <laughs> but I hope I'm keeping you company or something at least. You know. But we actually did. Chill on my Discord server. We watch some anime, did some homework streams. We often have people just sitting at our Discord, streaming their homework, doing homework.、Um, you know, sometimes when you're doing homework, you want company, right? And if you want to chill with us, feel free to join our Discord server. Once again, I'm leaving the link down below in the description.、Um, On day thirty-three, we cleaned up some of our nodes for our dual blader.、Um, I crafted some blade tornado nodes because I had a lot of node shards from all the disassembling that I've been doing,、um, and I was able to get my blade tornado up to level five. Day thirty four of our streams. Damn, day thirty four. That means it's been two days. Wait, not two days. Wait, I can't do math. What the heck? A couple of days over a month since I came back to this game, and it's crazy because I feel like I've never even quit from like three years ago. Honestly, like dailies have only gotten more tedious.、Um, nothing's really changed much about the game since I last played a couple of years ago. It's the, the same old, but I guess it's something nice to get back into since I haven't been doing much、um, during the pandemic. Um, but anyways, day thirty four, the big day. Guess what I got? Yes, that's right. I got a freaking Dominator pendant. Um, so I know the drop rate for this pendant is very low, but people still want to grind for it. Um, and what you want to do is star it to sixteen stars. Um. And you wanna flame it to I think optimally you want five to six percent all stat as well as sixty plus sixty of your flat stat of whatever class you are. So for me, I would go for around sixty luck and five to six percent all stat flame.、Um, and then what you wanna do is you wanna transpose it to a sweet water pendant. So make sure you gr you you guys are grinding your commercy. Um, coins, as well as arc daily, and then another thing we achieved on this day was the S rank for Celestial Point for the ongoing Blessings event.、Um, but that was about it for day thirty-four, the big pendant day. All right, moving on to day thirty-five. Another very eventful day and lucky day, actually.、Um, on this day, I brought back a cat cam for Niku <laughs> for like a day. I don't know why, but that's why you guys can see Niku、um, on the camera instead of me,、um, and. One crazy thing, I in my whole life did not know that there was an Erda Spectrum PQ. No one has ever told me, and I just never knew it was a thing. You you guys know for like Hungry Mudo, people go around saying, "Oh, recruiting for Hungry Mudo. Does anyone want to H Mudo?" Um, so I knew of that PQ. But no one ever goes around saying, "Oh, anyone want to Erda PQ?" 
until like Ryan came along to my stream uh, and in my buddy list chat and he was like um, does anyone want to carry me or a PQ for my other character and I was like Erda PQ? What, 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 what's that? <laughs> Oh my god, I can't believe I've been missing out on all those orbs. So if you guys are like me and you guys didn't know this was a thing, make sure you're doing your Urda Spectrum PQs as well as your Hungry Mutal PQs if you're around level 210 like me. Um, and then I was also excited this day because... Um, I don't know if you guys know of the Cinema 4D program. It's like a 3D modeling program that I used back in school. And I actually very much enjoy modeling. I think it's very fun and tedious and stressful at the same time. But like anything else, you know, once uh, the product is done, it's very satisfying. So I <coughs> totally got this program legally on that day and <laughs> i was very excited over it um but aside from that i'm saying day 35 is a very lucky day because we got a superior golux earring from the drops um with the courtesy of my friend carrying of course since i can't solo helix yet um hopefully soon because I'm pretty sure if I practice my mechanics and I get a little bit more range, I'd be able to do it. I don't know about the new Helux, but we never know until we try, right? Um, and besides my earrings, I was also able to buy my either my pendant or my ring. The superior pendant or the superior ring. And... It takes 700 Golux horns for that, and I finally saved up enough for it. But it was just a matter of, do I get the pendant or do I get a ring? <laughs> I had, I was using both my horn tail necklace and my spare blossoms ring, which both are kind of poopy, you know. Um, but in the end, I decided to replace my pendant. But eventually, we're going to replace both anyways. So it didn't matter that much. <laughs> um, and we took advantage of the Celestial No Boom room. My friends told me I should probably make use of it before it goes away. So because of that, I got my Dom pendant. Um up to i think 15 stars was it with no boom and i also got my batch the senkoku batch which is no longer available it's like extinct and everyone wants it because it's like the best badge out there i was thinking of things that i probably shouldn't boom and the badge and the dom pendant um i got both of those to 15 stars as well as um my connor ring so <laughs> since i've been so lazy this whole time to do the connor ring quest i finally got it done guys um and that was also the reason why i didn't get the superior ring instead of the pendant because i was thinking i could just get the connor ring and then replace the spirit blossoms ring and that is exactly what i did um if you guys don't know of the connor ring it's one of the end game rings you want to have besides the golux ones so if you haven't uh done the quest line for it make sure you do it um you can simply google like connor ring pre-quest guide and You'll get many links of guides for it. So after getting everything to 15 stars, including the Connor ring, I potted everything. And oh, I'd like to give Tyler space underscore a shout out from episode five. Um, he told me that black tier uh, black cubes would be ideal to tear up items. So thank you for letting me know. And he also told me to not waste Legion coins on epic pots um, and that I can kill Hard Ramaru for epic gear and use the transfer hammer 
um, to Abso Gear for the Epic Pods. So thank you for that tip, Tyler. I'll keep that in mind. Um, these clips are actually from a couple weeks back. That's why you probably see me buying like Legion Epic Pod uh, scroll still. <laughs> I apologize about that waste, but we learn from our mistakes, right? Um, so after potting uh, my equips, I try to do some flames on them, and I'm gonna be honest, I didn't get anything. Like, I got sh sh doo doo. Uh, <laughs> but that's okay. We get some, we lose some. And for day 34 and 35, I was extremely lucky with my pendant. And my earrings so i have nothing to complain about right um i also fixed up my v matrix a bit for my con on that day and that's all we had for day 35 a pretty eventful day compared to all my other daily days but that wraps up today's video guys um, I hope you guys enjoyed episode 6. I know I talked about a lot of random stuff and all my updates and stuff, but I'm thinking of doing some real life vlogs, maybe some apartment tours. I am moving in less than a month. I want to do like a before after comparison maybe of my apartment. Um, but if you guys are interested in that, let me know. I don't know, maybe I can do in real life vlogs, food videos. We'll see. <laughs> um, but if you guys have any suggestions, feel free to let me that uh, let me know in the comments down below. And I'll see you guys in the next episode, hopefully. Goodbye, gamers. Peace.